to my channel. So today I have one of my bestest friends Hi. ever, Paul Craddock, also known as Pauly C on Instagram. He and I go way back. Very, very far back. From high school. So yeah, I actually did his senior pictures for high school. He like messaged me on Facebook and I was a photographer back then, so he was like, Can you do my senior pictures? And also like a little secret, he started my Instagram. Yeah. I, <laughs> I was the one who recommended do the Patrick Star R R. Yeah, three R's. Three R's. Cause he, on his Instagram he has three U's, right? Yep. Yeah, Polly C with three U's and then he, I wanted Patrick Star, but he was like just add three R's so that's how he came up with my name we're downtown and he was like you should get an Instagram and that's where it all started it that's did. where Patrick Star was born yeah. is through him so this is my oh. Instagram drag mother <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah and Patrick also helped me encouraging me get into modeling the shoot we did together was one of my first photo shoots um, and so yeah it inspired me and then we you know he encouraged me to send to agencies the next thing I know I'm flying to Tokyo for three months so he is fierce he is a model let me know if you guys want to see more videos with him because he is so handsome give this video a thumbs up check him out on Instagram and today we did a men's makeup tutorial it's a little bit glam so give it a try if you're a guy that rhymed give it a try if you're a guy I hope you guys like this tutorial subscribe to my channel check out Polly C and let's get right into the tutorial Okay guys, so let's get started. Right. He's already freaking flawless, so I'm gonna try my best to just amp it up. And it's all about the technique and it's all about the application. So if you're watching at home and you're a boy or you have a boyfriend or a brother that wants to try makeup, just practice and just keep it as natural as possible because this is men's makeup, but this is great for photography and whatnot. So let's just get right into it. So I'm not going to use any primer, so the first thing that I'm going to use is this Dior Skin Nude Foundation. And we're in the color 10. Light. He's light. <laughs> Just say light on here. Does it? It's 10. I got this for you. I got this for his birthday, like, what, two years two ago? Two years ago. He's cleaned and moisturized his face, and I'm going to use this Morphe brush, the M427. I'm going to be using all Morphe brushes today, because they're amazing and they're affordable. I'm just going to start. Girl, you look already so fleek. If you want to know his, what do you call that? His status? What do you call that? My status? Negative? Your relationship? <laughs> if you want to know his relationship status, you can ask him on his Instagram, at policy. P-A-U-U-U. This is a makeup tutorial. And this is what it should look like. This is my channel. Let's just get over it. Next, I'm going to take this MAC Pro Concealer Palette. This is the Studio Finish Palette. I'm going to take the colors NC15 and W10, these two top colors, and conceal under his eye. I'm going to be using the Morphe MB25 brush. And you want to get right on the inner corner and right up to the lash line. <laughs> and you want to be very gentle with the eye. So a nice fluffy brush or a flat brush is good, but I prefer a fluffy brush. And again, this is the MB23 by Morphe. And you can even go on top of the eye too because you can see it has a little bit of hyperpigmentation and redness. <laughs> I'm gonna apply some of this NC15 like down the nose to give him like a little bit of a highlight. This is optional. You know me, I'm a little extra sometimes, but that's okay. So this is what it should look like so far with the concealer. Flawless. But now I'm gonna take these two bottom colors. This one is NC20 and NW20. And I'm gonna use this to conceal some spots on his face using the same brush. I like to go a little bit around the nose and I like to use these colors to blend in the highlight to the skin just a little bit. You can even blend it with the foundation as well. Let's see these crows. <laughs> crows be. Next I'm going to take this Makeup Forever M504 brush and then dust this under the eye very lightly. You don't want to use too much because it will flash back. I'm going to take this already down the nose as well. She is oil. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Girl, you can fry some chicken on these lids, though. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so far, so cute. So, so far we did like the foundation, the concealer, and the powder, and now it's up to defining the face now. So, you can stop here if you want, but you know me, I like it a little bit extra. This is for like photo purposes, photo shoot, Instagram pictures, clubbing, 
parties. Next, I'm gonna take this mineralized skin finish by MAC in the color Extra Albino White. <laughs> this is in the color light. I'm going to just lightly set the face. Paula's really fair, but I'm just gonna lightly set the face with this big, thick brush, the Morphe G O. <laughs> Stop! You're not cute! You're not cute! <laughs> honey, he look like model, honey. He do so nice. You had my friend, honey. Cute! Next, you're gonna take this blush. These colors pertain to him, so I'm just showing you um, men's makeup. This is more particularly for the application, but next I'm gonna take this MAC Blush and Prism as a contour for him, and this is in the color Prism, and it's a matte, so it's great to use matte colors, whether it be bronzer, matte bronzer, something that pertains to your skin tone. This won't work for anybody, but for someone that is his skin color, this would work just fine, and I'm gonna take it and apply it with the Morphe E4 brush from the Elite Collection. Flat, chisel, flat, chisel, flat, sexy. <laughs> oh, this is also a quick tip. I like to apply like a layer of powder, which is why I apply this mineralized skin finish. Because if you were to apply like let's say a blush onto straight foundation, if the foundation is not dry or powdered, the blush can look a little bit blotchy and it would stick to certain wet spots. So just be careful and just apply a light coat of powder so your blush can go on smooth. Next, I'm gonna press everything into the face using that same G Zero brush. This brush is amazing, especially if you're a guy and you like something big and thick and fluffy on the face. It's great. Yes. Boys can beat the face too. So next, this is an additional step, but this is if you wanna look extra and you like to be extra. This is Max Cream Color Blush in the color Hush. And I'm gonna take this with my ring finger and apply it to the tops of his cheekbones. Yes. You want to just hug the eye. This is so cute and so pretty. You look so handsome. Next, I'm going to take Luna Cream Color Blush. This is a very, very pale one. There are different colors at MAC, but just check them out. Creams are, are great because it gives a little bit of dimension to the skin. I'm just going to take this down the nose. And this will just snatch his nose a little bit. And you just want to pat it because since we applied a powder, you don't want to go too crazy. Next, for a light definition in the brows, I'm going to take the Anastasia Blonde Brow Duo with a Morphe Flat Defining Brush. I'm going to just mix both colors. This is great. I'm just going to define, because he's very dense in the front, I'm just going to define his tail. The first time that, um, like for the shoot we did for high school, senior photos, you didn't wear makeup. Did I? Yeah. You remember? No. I didn't want to wear makeup. Like, I was trying to be natural, so... You put face and body on me, and um, some equilibrium uh, blush, and uh, a little bit of beguiled brow set on my lashes. Just to add some definition in his crease, I'm going to take the same blush and the same M504 brush, and just lightly just dust it for him, just to give him like a little bit of warmth. You can do this with any bronzer. This is the same blush, so I'm just adding a little bit of color back to his lids. So next, I'm gonna take this Appeal Cosmetics um, lipstick. I just found this and it's in the color Nude. And I'm just gonna take it on my finger and then pat it on the lips. You can use like a tinted lip balm too, but this is just such a pretty color for his skin tone. I wanted to use it. And this is the finished look, so yeah. Look, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out Polly C on Instagram. Check out his modeling pictures. And he's amazing. And I love him so, so much. Thank you so you. much for being in my video. Thank you if you guys want to see more of Paul, comment down below. We can do like a supermodel posing 101 with him. Yes, from a real pose. working model. That's and right. if you guys want to see him back on my channel, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Check out also his YouTube page. Everything is linked down below for him. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Peace.